Hello everybody, how's it here? Welcome back to the Pillars of the Earth and it is chapter 2. Playing as Jack. Hunt for food! In the forest right now. Oh, a boar. Okay, that is a very bloody. It's dead boar. Why is there so much blood? It looks like he's really hungry now. No. Rotting. What a waste. A rotten boar. Rotten dead boar. Okay, we have a slingshot. One that I rarely misses. Deer marks, fresh. Stay alert, Jack. Twigs breaking. Okay, it is somewhere near. Our mark is very close by. Where could it be? Ooh! That's a deer. So I only have a slingshot right now, is that enough? Even though I don't really want to hurt him. There you are! Now, don't move. It'll soon be over. Yeah, this is something unavoidable. I think we hit him. But uh, you can only do so much with slingshot. Ooh! Again? Oh, poor dear. Yes. This will bring us through winter. Mother would be proud. Yeah, food for the whole family in this brutal winter time. Not much we can do. My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. So this is some the form Lord of a flashback. Of all France, Charles the Great has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. <laughs> he has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh... Remember? He... Come on, remember, think. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. <laughs> ah, I know I can do it. Afternoon was approaching fast and mother still hadn't returned. So if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. Cure the mead? How hard can it be? Maybe just a little salt and pepper? Soon now we know it by heart. You know, I did have a choice there to uh, read the book. Hold on here. I, I do want to read it. Hold on. Right? 
I'm not sure I don't. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had an icon there to examine the book. Caves upon caves, horses and cows in between. That's what the real town must look like. There he is. Charles the Great, the protector of my town. You're coming with me. Charles the Great made by mother. My toy castle, huh? Mother didn't take any tools, so she isn't hunting. Where did she go? Ellen's bow, is that her name? Ellen's bow, Ellen and Jack keep a variety of short and long range weapons in their home. The two lead their lives as outlaws outside of society and the protection of the law. A bow can serve as an invaluable tool both for hunting and self protection. Most outlaws were once accused of a crime, but failed to appear for judgment. According to the law, their contracts, claims, and ownership, they fell void. As outlaws who have no rights, anyone can harm them and capture them and turn them in. Thus, many outlaws turn to a life of hiding and thievery. So what happened in the past? What causes them to um, be in this predicament now? Our last nuts and tunips. The rest has gone moldy. Mother says it's the worst winter ever. One book is in French, the other in Latin. Mother needs to chop more wood. Where is she anyway? Do I have enough? Where's the piece of meat? Oh, that one. So how do we cure the meat? My first year, my mother will be so proud. I can't eat it raw. I need to cure it. Meat goes bad fast. Uh, by cure it, you mean... cook it. I can't eat it raw. I need to cure it. Okay, let's try... Um, I need a knife. To cut it into little pieces, maybe. Can I use that knife? He deserves a worthier <laughs> enemy. <laughs> no, no, not Charles the Great. Okay, let's build a bigger fire. Dry wood for fire. Mother chopped this last autumn. Good. It was warmer. Now I need some wet wood to make it smoke properly. Wet wood? So, smoking the meat? Is that how we cure... cure the meat? Huh? What's that? What's that noise coming from the forest? Should we go take a look? Her rolls for slingshot practice. Okay, let's get a few just in case. We do have our weapon. Okay, so... I remember this place. This is from the beginning of the game. You know that small pool where we got the water? In the circle of stones. Can build, can throw. Too big to be useful. They're gross. Gross everywhere. Frozen puddle, the ice broke. It hasn't mended yet. Better say alert. Hmm. It was hit by something sharp. That was no animal. Maybe it was mother. Mother doing her chores, I hope. Ooh. Well, wait, wait. What? Good. He hasn't seen you. Who is he? 
A whip. That's what he is. A whip? That means he's someone bad. I told you about people like him, remember? He is the brother. Uh, is he a monk? Is that baby Tom Builder's baby? I'm going baby. to follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. The bloody claw of the bloody rag is still here. That is definitely Tom Builder's baby from the beginning. Yeah, I did read the book, but there are things that I don't remember. A whole lot of things that I don't remember. So yeah, this is a semi-fresh experience for me, everybody piece of cloth covered in blood. Did the monk leave it here? <laughs> and why did I take the bloody piece of cloth? <laughs> why? A mound! Ah, the mother's body. This is her grave. Something was buried here. Food? Some treasure? Oh, oh, don't do this. Jack. <gasps> I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home! Tom Builder's wife. May her rest in peace. Mother? Alright, be careful now. I don't think that's mother. You? Don't move. We killed the pig thief in Salisbury, we can kill you too. Bloody hell. Where's the baby? Did you eat it? Hey, stop that. Hey. What's this? Give it back. It's mine with bully. You want with this? You can't read. Give it back. Leave the boy be, Alfred. He, oh. he took the baby. I saw him take Mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? Wolves. A monk took it. A monk? Yes, on a horse. Is that true? Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Jack. Do you live in these woods, Jack? Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone. But I cannot leave him to die either. I have to know if he's alright. Will you help us? You're a good lad. I owe you. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. How about it's a bully? Wow. 
Okay, a world map. Wow, this game is a world map. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others got to be. Alright, so this is where we are. Follow the monk's trail. We don't know where he went. Do we know? Just click on my icon. Oh, okay, that's our destination point. Follow the monk's trail. <laughs> our objective. Here we go. The monk had crossed a small stream. Or he had followed its course north, which would have led him towards the next village. Either way, the tracks ended at a riverbed as evening was fast approaching. The big man looked at me. Which way, boy, he asked. But I could only guess. I can only guess. I can go up to... Uh, I can follow the river or cross the river. Okay, cross the river to no man's land. I don't think so. He probably went to a village, perhaps north to Hunley. Yeah, there's nothing here on this side, so I think we better follow the river. The stream led us to a more convenient crossing. Here, one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water. Suddenly, the boy called out. He had spotted something on the other bank. A set of fresh hoof prints. He laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked. Say nothing amid his success. Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> so, we crossed the river. The boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. That bully, Alfred. Don't really care what you think. I'll keep on walking. So, we are crossing the river then. We cannot go up. But there's nothing on this side of the map. Unless we're going to London. <laughs> I don't think so. What is it? He got us lost. Did you? Papa, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy and you're too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I won't be far, dear. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. And no tricks. Man, what is his problem, huh? Get your book back. Current location lost in the woods. Is he asleep? Snow right above his head. He is sleeping. Poor girl, she's sleeping too. Mother would take better care of her. Okay, that's my book, guys. He's getting it all wet. Can we grab the book? I doubt it. But what 
can we do with the snow? Use our slingshot, perhaps. Yeah, slingshot in the snow. Distract him. Ah! You, you little... Papa, what are you doing? Nothing. Go back to sleep. Father will be back soon. Wow. If we were alone, I'd kill you. Hey, you see that? O over there in the fog. There is something there. It's an animal skull. Um, about my bow. Yeah, that really accomplished nothing, guys. <laughs> Using the slinger on the snow. Wow. Am I scaring him? What is it? Shall we get closer? It's a skull, animal skull. Hey! What is it? A deer. It broke through the ice and died. Children! Martha? Wake up, dear. Is that my mother? We met in the forest. I'm Jack's mother. Come here, Jack. Did you find him? Yes, dear, we did. The baby is safe. The monk brought it to a small cell not far from here. But we won't go there now. Ellen offered us shelter for tonight. I have. Follow me. If I'd known you lived this close, my Agnes might have been safe. Don't fool yourself. When a woman is bleeding inside, it either stops or it doesn't. All you can do is keep her warm, and you did that. I'm sorry, but the living must take care of the living. Jack, give the children some soup, will you? Will you be able to get work soon? Uh, hard to say. People don't usually hire a new master builder in winter. Too cold for stirring water. Sometimes you get lucky, but not this year. Thank you, Jack. Some time ago, I had work in Exeter. They offered me the post of builder for the Castellan to keep the walls and defences in shape. It would have kept me busy for the rest of my life. We would have lived like bishops. What happened? I refused. All I cared about was working on a cathedral again. I was a fool. <laughs> You can do better than to build churches. Well, I worked on one once. That was good work. Nah, I won't ramble on now. But if you ask Martha, she'll tell you everything about it. Is he still grumpy? Like you should not beat himself so hard. No. No, there is no excuse for leaving my baby son behind. Women die in labor. Men abandon their children all the time. It is rare that they return. Is that what happened to you and your son? No. That is an altogether different story. One I haven't even told Jack yet. All I can say is, I raised him alone in this cave. Outside of town law. Just us and the forest. How do you get by? We hunt, we gather. It works well enough for us too to survive. We almost would have had meat today too. But it started to rot before we could cure it. What? Have you not told me yet? Oh, just some old tale. Like Tristan and Isolt? A bit, but not quite. Come on, eat up. I have so many questions. Eat well, children. We'll need your strength. And so do you, Master Builder. Go on, tuck in. I will. Thank you. Uh, I want to ask him about the cathedral. Well, they're asleep now. So, what is it? 
I told you that the monk had taken the baby to a small cell nearby. It's true, but I advise you to stay away from there. What? Why? Because you abandoned it. That counts as murder. Then... then I have to steal it. I have to own up to what I've done. I have to take back my son. Think for a moment. You have been out of work since summer. A baby needs a lot of care. More than your other children. How will you feed him? But what am I to do then? Live like you? I don't know a thing about hunting. I'm a mason. Even in a castle I'm more at home than here. Leave the baby with the monks. He'd be warm and fed. You wouldn't have to carry him while you look for work. And when you do find something, you can come back and fetch him. I... I, I don't know. Since Agnes died, I don't know anything anymore. You're a good man, Tom Builder. You're kind and gentle and strong. You will do the right thing. You also don't have to go through this alone, you know. Jack and I will have to leave this place soon. The winter is too cruel and we might not survive if we stayed. We could all travel together. I don't know. I have my hands full with my children already. I can help you take care of them. If you promise to teach my son how to get along in the world of men. We may be strangers now, but we would be at each other's side, helping out however we can. The living must take care of the living. Yes. Don't want to leave. I'm going to see a castle. Well, I guess that is pretty exciting, right? For a little kid. For me, also. That night I dreamed of a strange world. There were small castles, dead deer, and a giant called Tom. In that dream, I was happy. I tightly held my mother's hand, watching the kind giant and learning his mysterious ways. Chapter 2, Jack, what I did, caught a deer, but let the meat spoil. Wait, what? I have a, I have a chance to not let the meat spoil? Really? How? <laughs> I ran into Tom Builder and his family. I gave Martha soup first. Alfred grew to dislike you, even though I gave him soup in the end. Really, Alfred the bully. I am looking forward to finally leaving the forest. I found information about Jack and Ellen's lives as outlaws. 